When my friend acquired his second property, I was genuinely thrilled for him. After years of diligent saving and working three jobs, he had finally secured something substantial for his and his wife's retirement. Initially, renting out the space seemed like an impeccable strategy to generate steady income. However, his boundless enthusiasm soon turned into a harrowing ordeal when the tenant ceased paying rent. The trouble began when the tenant lost his job, leading to missed payments. Despite my friend's leniency, offering a grace period to catch up, the tenant failed to do so and eventually stopped paying altogether. The eviction process became a protracted nightmare. The tenant refused to vacate, forcing my friend to navigate the arduous legal process to enforce the eviction. For two years of court visits, legal fees, and over $20,000 in rent arrears, my friend finally received the court's authorization to proceed with the eviction, even with police presence if necessary. Unfortunately, many others have exploited the system and the goodwill of others for their gain, neglecting the fact that someone ultimately bears the cost of their actions. While it's important to exercise compassion where appropriate, discernment and wisdom are equally crucial. We must recognize that we can't rescue everyone from their misfortunes. Sometimes, providing resources is a more viable form of support. Regardless of the grace period my friend extended, it might not have influenced the outcome, particularly when a system designed to favor tenants places a burdensome and often unfair appeal process on landlords. Vocabulary Acquired To gain or obtain something, typically through one's efforts or by purchasing it. In this context, it means that the friend obtained his second property. Genuinely thrilled, truly and sincerely excited or happy about something. Here, it indicates that the speaker was sincerely happy for their friend. Secured, to make certain or obtain something in a way that it is protected or assured. The word implies that the friend managed to successfully obtain something substantial, in this case, for retirement. Substantial of considerable importance, size, or worth. It means that what the friend secured for retirement was significant or valuable. Impeccable, flawless or perfect. Here, it describes the initial idea of renting out the property as being without fault or mistake. Boundless enthusiasm, unlimited or very great enthusiasm. This phrase expresses the friend's limitless excitement about the property. Harrowing ordeal, a very distressing or traumatic experience. It refers to the difficult and painful situation the friend went through. Cease paying rent. Stopped making rent payments. 
This phrase indicates that the tenant no longer continued to pay the rent. Leniency. The quality of being more merciful or tolerant than expected. A disposition to be forgiving or lenient. It shows that the friend was forgiving towards the tenant's situation. Grace period. An additional period of time given to someone to fulfill an obligation, such as paying rent, before some penalty is applied. Here, it refers to extra time given to the tenant to catch up on rent payments. Eventually stopped paying altogether. Finally ceased making payments entirely. It means that after some time, the tenant completely stopped paying the rent. Protracted nightmare. An extremely difficult or unpleasant situation that is prolonged over a long period. This phrase describes the extended and painful process of eviction. Refused to vacate. Declined to leave or move out of the property. The tenant did not agree to leave the premises. Navigate the arduous legal process. To find a way through a difficult and laborious legal procedure, it refers to the friend having to manage a complicated legal situation. Court visits. Attending legal proceedings or hearings in court. It involves going to court multiple times as part of the legal process. Legal fees. The money paid to lawyers or legal representatives for their services. It refers to the cost incurred during the legal process. Rent arrears, overdue or unpaid rent. The tenant owes this amount to the landlord. The court's authorization to proceed. Permission granted by the court to move forward with a legal action such as an eviction. It means the court allowed the eviction to happen. Exploited the system. Took unfair advantage of the rules or procedures in place. It indicates that people use the system to benefit themselves at the expense of others. Goodwill of others. The friendly or helpful feelings that others have towards someone. It refers to the tenant taking advantage of the kindness or generosity of others. Neglecting the fact. Ignoring or failing to consider the reality or truth of something. It means not acknowledging that someone will bear the consequences of the tenant's actions. Bears the cost of their actions. Takes on or suffers the financial or other consequences of someone's actions. It means that someone else will have to pay for the tenant's actions or misbehavior. Analyze. When my friend acquired his second property, I was genuinely thrilled for him, meaning, when my friend bought his second property, I felt truly happy and excited for him. After years of diligent saving and working three jobs, he had finally secured something substantial for his and his wife's retirement. Meaning, after many years of carefully saving money and working three jobs, he finally achieved something significant for his and his wife's retirement plans. Initially, 
Renting out the space seemed like an impeccable strategy to generate steady income, meaning, at first, renting the property appeared to be a flawless plan to create a regular flow of money. However, his boundless enthusiasm soon turned into a harrowing ordeal when the tenant ceased paying rent, meaning, Unfortunately, his unlimited excitement quickly became a distressing experience when the tenant stopped paying rent. The trouble began when the tenant lost his job, leading to missed payments, meaning problems started when the tenant lost his job, which caused him to miss rent payments. Despite my friend's leniency, offering a grace period to catch up, the tenant failed to do so and eventually stopped paying altogether, meaning, even though my friend was kind enough to allow extra time to catch up on the payments, the tenant couldn't manage it and eventually stopped paying rent completely. The eviction process became a protracted nightmare. The tenant refused to vacate, forcing my friend to navigate the arduous legal process to enforce the eviction, meaning the eviction turned into a long and exhausting ordeal. The tenant wouldn't leave, so my friend had to go through the difficult legal process to make the eviction happen. After two years of court visits, legal fees, and over $20,000 in rent arrears, my friend finally received the court's authorization to proceed with the eviction, even with police presence if necessary. Meaning, after two years of going to court, paying legal fees, and accumulating over $20,000 in unpaid rent, my friend finally got the court's permission to carry out the eviction with police assistance if needed. Unfortunately, many others have exploited the system and the goodwill of others for their gain, neglecting the fact that someone ultimately bears the cost of their actions, meaning, sadly, Many people have taken advantage of the system and the kindness of others for their own benefit, ignoring that, in the end, someone else has to pay for their behavior. While it's important to exercise compassion where appropriate, discernment and wisdom are equally crucial, meaning... While it's essential to show compassion when it's suitable, it's just as important to use good judgment and wisdom. We must recognize that we can't rescue everyone from their misfortunes. Sometimes providing resources is a more viable form of support, meaning, we need to understand that we can't save everyone from their difficulties. Sometimes giving them resources is a more practical way to help. Regardless of the grace period my friend extended, it might not have influenced the outcome, particularly when a system designed to favor tenants places a burdensome and often unfair appeal process on landlords, meaning no matter how much extra time my friend gave, it might not have changed the result, especially in a system that favors tenants and imposes a difficult and often unfair appeals process on landlords. Test. What emotion did the speaker feel when their friend acquired a second property?
How did the friend manage to secure something substantial for retirement? What was the initial plan for the second property? What triggered the tenant's failure to pay rent? What did the friend do in response to the tenant's missed payments? How long did the eviction process take? How much money did the friend lose in rent arrears during the eviction process? What did the court eventually authorize to help with the eviction. What do many others exploit according to the passage? What is crucial alongside exercising compassion, according to the passage? Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this.